Hello, my name is Ben. My name is Andrew. And we are your hosts of the Two Vague Podcast this week. One word, two hosts, stories, trivia, and video games. How is Andrew doing today? Andrew's doing uh, all right today. Yeah, I, Andrew's talking about himself in the third person because Andrew's family likes to do that, apparently. Is no, it, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, Andrew's family does. This is true. I just realized I did the exact same thing started. I was like, wait, wait a minute. No, uh, yeah, I'm doing good today. Um, do you respond to people that say things in the third person with the third person back to them? Because I always, I don't. And I just realized, talking with her about it on that show... I realize that's what I do. Not that it's right or wrong. It's just what I do. I, don't, I really haven't thought about it that much. I kind of, I'm just happy words come out of my mouth when, when people talk to me sometimes. Because sometimes they don't come out and I'm like, yeah, yeah. celebrate the little victories, I think. Just like this like thing. yesterday, I was, I was walking through the neighborhood and yeah, I noticed there was something uh, attached underneath the windshield wiper of a car and I was like, you know, I blurted it out out loud. There's there's a dog of bag poop on that car. That's not what it was. <laughs> it was a bag of dog poop. It was, <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so my words don't come out at the right way sometimes. I don't know how you're going to edit this, but yeah. You know I can do it. So you took the day off. I took the day off. Was that to play this game so we could have our discussion? <laughs> Dude, I've been playing this game all morning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing this game. I got to finish it. I got <laughs> Oh, okay. So how far do you think you're through it? You know, I only play it a few minutes a day. Okay. Usually, and it, it might it might be about three more weeks before I finish. Well, just in case you didn't read the title of the show, this week we're doing a game review of TurboTax. You, you're playing the PC version, is that correct? I'm playing the PC version of TurboTax, yeah. I got the, the home and business uh, booster pack on it. Ah, okay. Like home a- and business. Gotcha. Well, I'm in business because I got too many side hustles just to do the regular TurboTax anymore. So Right. Well, I played through the mobile version. Of, the mobile version, yeah. Which is called TurboTax colon file your tax return. That's the full name. So That's, it's not called 2023 or anything. I'm sure yours has a 2023 in there. Somewhere. Yeah, mine, mine is yeah TurboTax home and business 2023, just like the football games. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's yeah. What, that part of, okay, so we'll we'll get into this when we get into the review part, but I don't quite understand, like I said, we'll cover it. The version I'm playing, developed by Intuit Incorporated, which is an American multinational software company. They're headquartered in Mountain View, California. Uh, yeah. The company was founded by Scott Cook and Tom Prolux in 1983 in Palo Alto. Very close to Mountain View. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah? How was it? There's lots of expensive houses there. And they got a really fancy mall. Yeah, very silicony. And then they got Stanford. Stanford, the trees. Yeah, I I spent some time out there. Yeah, myself. no, I'm... Yeah, Catherine's family are from that area. Okay. Which is the area of the bay, right? So... Yeah, so you're not unfamiliar with Gordon Beersh. Or are you not familiar with Gordon Beersh? I should be more familiar, but... It's sort of a chain bar, kind of bar food yeah. sort of place. Yeah, but. right, right. No, I've seen it, but, oh, okay. you know, we didn't go. Like, gotcha. every time I've been in there, it's been, like, family trips, and then mm-hmm. for some reason we didn't go to Gordon Beersh. Well, one last thing is, into it was conceived by Scott Cook, whose prior work at Procter & Gamble helped him realize that personal computers would lend themselves towards replacements for paper and pencil based activities. So mm. that's kind of the impetus of the company into it incorporated. Like I said, yeah. the version I'm using for the iOS developed by into it incorporated, it's ranked 4.8 out of five stars. It says it's for ages four and up. Ages four and up. Wow. <laughs> Kind of interesting. When I was 19, they told me that I was not allowed to do my own taxes anymore. <laughs> they said, you did it wrong. Next time, do the easy file. <laughs> yeah, and I don't remember ever doing taxes any age other than when I was 16. That's when I started, so I don't understand why it's ages four and up. Maybe it's practice. The, maybe it's the, those child actors. That's true. They probably have a very complex return. I'm sure they do. I'm going to turn off my noise from my phone. Hold on. 
I forget when it notifies you that you have a message or whatever. I always forget to turn that off. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. And now it sounds like a leaky faucet drip that doesn't do the ding anymore. Yeah, often I just have my phone on silent like all the time. So, because I don't like sounds. No? No, it, it stresses me out when I hear somebody's notifications <laughs> ding. I'm like, ah, what's that? Yeah. It must be important. Yeah, it's not true. Not anymore. We just uh, social media each other to death or whatever. And Yeah. So do you have it on vibrate or does that also bother um, you? It, it's on vibrate, but the vibrate in the iPhones is not as good as it used to be. Mm. It used to be like you would know that thing was vibrating, but now it's like hit or miss. I think I think they had to they switch to a smaller buzz motor or whatever. Uh, Possibly. Or either that or I'm I'm losing my sense of touch. <laughs> <laughs> Nerve endings are, are being when, worn down or or there's could a be. if you keep your phone in the same spot over years, over years, over years, I'm sure you develop some sort of a callus or something. Either that or you just maybe just don't notice it as much anymore. You just get used to that same You're probably right. It's probably that. That same input over and over again. Or both. A little of both. You get the phone callus. Little both. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. But the columns is totally a- apropos of the TurboTax game. Yeah, there is a Canadian version of TurboTax, too. Oh, there is. Yes. It was formerly known as QuickTax over there. Oh. But now it's called the same. I don't know how you would tell the difference between the U.S. version and the Canadian version if it's just called TurboTax, but I'm not paid for that kind of decision making. Yeah. There's one called TurboTax 20. TurboTax 20. Yeah, which is not representative of the century. It's when you need to prepare for multiple returns. Uh, oh, okay. So it's like a, a contractor pack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can help me with the French. The French. Oh, the 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 Turbo Ampo? Turbo Ampo? Ampo. Okay. Yeah. It's like Ample, but Ampo. Ampo. So that would make but, the, it's formerly called Ampo Rapide. Ampo ri- Rapide. Ampo Rapide. Ampo? What is that O Ampo. thing? What does that mean? What does that sound? What, the, the little axle circumflex? Yeah, the little it hat. Means, is that there, is there a it hat? Means, it means that in, in medieval French, there was an S after that vowel. That's what it means. Oh, okay. But now it just has a, okay. Now it just has the hat. Just has That's, the hat. Okay. That just just to let you know, in the past there was an S right there after that. Okay. I think that's so that you can match it up with the Latin roots easier. I don't know. I don't know why the French do that, but they insist on it. And well, that's okay. Just because I want you to earn your money here, can you say the yeah. other versions? Oh, you know what? You don't have what I have in front of me. I'll try. You can. You can. Don't. Uh, they have uh, different have versions. In front of you? They've got the de base, de base. They've got the deluxe. D E L U X E. They've got the the premiere and uh, premiere and particulars at enterprises version. A enterprise. Enterprises. Enterprise. You wouldn't see. Here's the funny thing about French. Uh The final S. You don't pronounce it. Whatever the last letter in the word is, you don't say it. You just trail off before. So E T would be E. It's A. Okay. Premiere. And why do they use and? Is and and in French? Oh, they don't use the Oxford comma in here. Maybe that's what it is. So maybe there's a premiere version and a particulars or partic- particular a uh, enterprise. So ample <laughs> Canada. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Turbo uh, ample deluxe. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm looking at all these and different then, images. Did you yeah, see the Premier. particulars? And uh, I, I can't even say that thing. Particularly, uh, oh, come on. Where's a list? I pulled it up through the Intuit uh, Wikipedia article. Intuit Wikipedia. Oh, I was just like Googled. Why am I never? Why, I should just be on Wikipedia all the time. It's not 100% accurate. There are tons of things. Neither that- is the Funkin' Wagnalls. <laughs> Get the funk out of your wagnalls. Go look it up in your funkin' wagnalls. Yeah. Yeah. That was a classic. They did uh, We're an American Band, didn't they? What? <laughs> oh, that's Grand Funk Railroad. The Sorry. Grand Funk Wagnalls. Yeah. 
Okay. International operations. There we go. And then you have the current products of Intuit Canada. Not to be confused with the current products of Inuit Canada, which is a different thing. Yeah, snap tax. Woo. TurboTax refund calculator. But up here is where I got the Turbo Lumpava. It's 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 an I. It's not an L. <laughs> it's just t- turbo, turbo Ampo. Turbo Ampo. Even though it looks like an L? It, it's... I'll tell you a story. Now, the kids in, in uh, school... They're doing, uh, the fourth and fifth graders are reading things. They're trying to make the essays about the persuading you to do things because they force kids to write persuasive essays about opinions they don't hold. They get these little photocopied packets of different like articles they can talk about. And one of the kids was reading in front of the class and they're talking, you know, there's a, a, a quote from an inconvenient truth or whatever. And the kid read the name AI Gore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the first artificial intelligent vice president in the United States. She just misread the L as an I because because it's all it's the problem of we are all just using sans serif fonts all, all all the time. So I wouldn't falter for that. Yeah, exactly. But you did the same thing. You're like, oh, this these two words ran, run together, and in the middle of it's a capital I, but it looks like a lowercase L. Oh, okay. So it's oh, okay. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? So formerly it was Ampel Rapid, which which just means fast tax, but now it's Turbo Ampo. And then the list afterwards is where I see the premiere and particulars. At- oh, right, right. Particular a entreprise. Yeah. Entreprise. Okay. Entreprise. Yeah. So yeah, like extra stuff in business. Why didn't they just call it extra stuff in business? I think they did. They just used the French words. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> extra stuff in business. I don't know. There might be a better word than extra stuff, but it's like, you know, special situations or whatever, you know, complicated tax stuff and business. Yeah. This reminds me of something that we need to talk about at some point. People complaining about how egregious localization problems of this Japanese game And as it turns out, it was just the added flowery sort of language that was more in tune with if you were doing something that was Shakespearean, it's knights and maidens and, and, you know, so they're using the ye olde English. Right. Ye olde English, right? They're doing that for the localization for us, because that makes sense for a U.S. audience or a U.K. audience that knows that kind of stuff. Right. And someone was looking at it and go, here's the actual translation. That's a problem. There's a difference between localization and translation. Yeah. It's a reason why in Turkey, speed is known as die hard on a bus. No, it's not. (laughs) But I mean, there, there are movies that they change things. Like I think Inside Out is one of the examples that's used a lot where in Japan, it doesn't make sense for broccoli to be the thing that the child doesn't like. So they replaced it with a pepper, which makes more sense. That was just a side thought. Sorry. Let's get back to taxes. Let's get to something more exciting. But yeah, localization and the taxes. I mean, we're talking about the localization to, to, for French Canadians. But, right, exactly. So it's, I don't even understand. I don't even know the Canadian tax structure. I mean, I think they've got different buffs over there. Different different power ups. I don't know. They definitely have different buffs. Based on what I've heard of of Canadian taxes, it's pretty much it's super easy. I don't know why you would need a piece of software for it, but I don't I've never seen a Canadian tax form. Let's talk about it some other time. Maybe we can do the word tax. We're, we we should focus on the review of this instead. Yeah, I mean well the narrative I think's a little clunky, but Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> But before we get into that, I wanted one thing. There's been some recent controversy with Intuit in the uh, Federal Trade Commission, FTC.gov, has a post that is FTC issues opinion finding that TurboTax maker Intuit Incorporated engaged in deceptive practices. Commission order prohibits Intuit from claiming a product or service is free unless it's free for all or must disclose detail about who qualifies. They're the, the, they're the, the old bait and switchy. That is the disclaimer. If you were using it this year, just be aware that, you know. Be aware. Be aware. There's a free and then there's free, but. Right. 
they try and get you to get all the the, the downloadable content along with the thing unless you need it but you probably well, don't need it th- that's true that's true yeah like if all you got is your w2 from the waffle house or wherever it is yeah you're fine but if you like uh you know, got a bunch of 1099s from like uh, your side hustle charging up bird scooters. Yeah. Gets a little complicated then. <laughs> Is that your side hustle? No, I got a different side hustle. Oh, okay. But that was an example side hustle. I found somebody's mail laying in the street one time and uh, there was a 1099 miscellaneous for, um, yeah, somebody's side hustle charging. Maybe it was Lime Scooters. I don't know. It could have did been. Did Bird go out of business? I'm not One sure. One of them did. I think Lime's still around. And I th- Most of those are tick infested. You want to stay away from those. Stay away from them. Yeah. yeah they are little parasites of the road. Yes. <laughs> Once again, the formula. I've kind of mixed things up a little bit. I'm going to start from now on with the story narrative because that kind of sets up. You can put it into context and then go to do the game mechanics and then the audio visuals at the end. Let's start with the story and narrative. What were your thoughts on the story and narrative in TurboTax? Well, it's like the same characters every year. Yeah, yeah. Although this this year, uh, my TurboTax game at least got a, a a new character, so that was fun. Oh yeah, got to put in some extra things, and then uh, the, which they call a dependent. A dependent. I got to add a new dependent, okay. but I had to take another dependent off. So right. Your experience was vastly different than mine then. Yeah, exactly. And with a name like TurboTax, you might think it's a racing game, but you would be wrong. No. (laughs) It is mostly text-based. A text-based... Mostly text-based, yeah. Adventure. Kind of like Zork. Kind of. That's what I'm saying, except without the adventure. It's a text-based adventure without the adventure, right? They're like, yes, did you donate anything to Goodwill this year? And then... You have to go through the adventure of putting in all the things and then and then you put all that in and then you find out, well, looks like the standard deduction's the right thing for you. And you're like, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, so. Well, this is, what, this is what I noticed. Everyone's story can be vastly different due to extensive story branching in there. Exactly. But you play the role of someone who's been giving money to the government over the course of the year. And now, at the conclusion of the year, you're told that you have to do math and fill out forms before April 15th. That's basically the story. Is that an accurate description of the story, you think? That's right. And, like, the more math you have to fill out, the more forms. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy, if you will. It's it's crazy. But, you know, there are are some tricky, uh, you know, fun little uh, revelations that happen. But, you know, what? one of the things that happens is that you know, you go through the whole, basically the whole cycle of the game. And then, it, you know, then it says, oh, but now you have to do your state taxes. Yeah, that's the extra DLC. I was going to mention that later. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, is that what we mentioned now or we just mentioned that later? Yeah, let's let's wait till, till later because then we can compare and contrast our experiences with the downloadable content. That's right. Yes. Story add-on downloadable content, which you can't get all of them, which is unfortunate. No, Unless but, you lived in every single state, you're not going to get yeah. the the full experience. I, you That's know, a which very is complicated, uh, yeah, tax situation right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think that might exceed the limits of TurboTax. I'm I'm a little bit scared about even thinking about that. <laughs> okay. No. Well, well, we'll change the yeah, subject then. Some, sometimes I make money in different states and I'm like, how do I report that? And yeah. That's the thing. When you're selling something to someone in another state, but you, you get a 1099 from Patreon or whatever, right? Is it a 1099 or is it something uh, else? Uh, it, is it a MISC? Yeah. 1099 MISC. Yeah. I've, I've yet to get to the, the threshold with Patreon income that I need that. Oh, okay. Okay. I think it's like uh it's once you hit six hundred dollars, then they have to give you that. So um So they don't give it to you. Th- no, they don't generate that unless you've gotten a certain but I you know, I keep track of stuff. Yeah. There's, there's some of my other side hustles like when I did the a lot of mystery shopping, then I would get a ten ninety nine misc from different organizations because like it's uh, uh it's it's such a a rat race you're just an independent contractor from all for like all these different things yeah so if you're if you do enough with one of them that you get you know you earn more than six hundred dollars a year with them then they have to send you that but right 
Right, but otherwise they don't. Okay, okay. Otherwise they don't because you know they don't want to put a they don't want to buy a stamp. No, that's the other thing. Okay, yeah, stamp. Don't get me started on stamps. Don't we're getting started on stamps. That's why yeah. it's that's why I like the 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 TurboTax uh, e file. Yeah. Option. One criticism of the story also is the fact that it's very difficult to determine who the adversary is. Yeah. Who is the person you're fighting against? It's like, it's like it's like you're just up against the faceless bureaucracy. Can't well, can't I if it's figure if out it, one if even. certain face. If even there is a bureaucracy, it's like is math the enemy? I don't think math is. For some people, it may be. Yeah, some people. A mini boss, at least. Yeah, at very least. And that's the other thing too. There's no way to actually determine what your skill level is. You kind of are at the mercy of your situation. If you're hard mode, you're hard mode. If you're insane mode, you're insane mode. Sorry. I think I got the insane mode this year, but well. Well, how about the game mechanics? What were your thoughts on those? Game mechanics. Um, game mechanics. It's, Are you answering questions or filling out the forms directly? Well, right, right now? Yeah, in your game. In my game. So, like, okay, you go through little pop-ups. What's the new income tax rate this year? There's, there's lots of little helpful things. But then you're like, is this exactly that? Uh, Well, it's good to know that they're helpful for some people because... They're helpful for some people. I mean, no, usually it's a bunch of small text and you read through it and you go like, oh, I don't do that. But okay. I mean, I live in an apartment. Why are they asking me about solar? I mean, you know... Yeah, we we got that buff last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we, we, uh, got solar and then got a nice little... uh, yeah, home energy tax credit last year. Nice. So you use yeah. you use solar? Um yeah, we we use it. Yeah. Until we don't have it and then And then you use the electric company. We got a grid tied system, so Gotcha. It does the net metering thing where, you know, where we're getting a lot of sun, so it's coming in, then our meter runs backwards, right? Well, when when we're sending power, we're, when we're pushing electricity onto the grid, then our meter runs backwards effectively. So we get credits on our bill. Yeah, they don't give us cash. No, no cash. Oh no. no no no, they don't do that. But they'll they they credit. Yeah, they give us solar energy credits that in the winter time when we don't get as much of the the sunshine because yeah. uh, then I'm you in can Oregon, use those. so yeah yeah then it it applies and so theoretically it should even out over the course of the year. Yeah, but um, January's electric bill was high. Yeah, because we ran out of our solar power credits. But here's my other problem with the well, I mean, it's sort of a problem with the game mechanics. Yeah, um, you're not through the game yet, so you haven't had to deal with us. But um, uh, so oh, you, I've I've I'll tell you, I I have been through the game, but then there's a wrinkle. Oh, okay, okay, but I don't know if that's part of if it's a part of the narrative. It's part of the narrative, yeah. Even if you do fill out the forms and submit them to the government in time, you may still have to face a random boss in a form of an audit, which can extend the gameplay extensively. It can, but it's completely random. It's completely random, and then, but then there's a there is the downloadable content, the uh, the return protection. Oh yeah, you can pay extra. Yeah, all the bells and whistles. Yeah, which, it's like it's like a cosmetic. It's a cosmetic. Yeah. Do you want to hear what the wrinkle in uh, the narrative that we hit this year? Oh yeah, what was that wrinkle? Well, that wrinkle is, uh, you know, I filed, you know, as, as a married couple, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we get, we get multiple W twos, and uh, I'd already gone through everything. Everything looked pretty good. A little bit of a federal refund, um, Oregon. When we talk to the about the state stuff, well, that was that'll be a fun part. But um, you know, it looked all good. Sent it away, and then a few weeks later, got an amended W two because yep. Even though they're supposed to give it to you by the end of uh, well, they did, but they screwed up and didn't put something on right, and then the the new number. Then I go and put that into the turbo tax and then you got to experience the branch that is the amended the amended tax return and that is what i'm like sort of sitting on for a little bit mm. waiting i'm waiting till uh, the last minute to 
file that sucker because because you don't want it to be amended amended gotta can, go can you write do that? A, gotta send some money to them well yeah i don't want it to be amended amended that's basically it's like there's a confusing situation going on with that gotcha but that has more to do with the state return than the federal one so mm. Mm. federal they just want seventeen hundred dollars that's real simple yeah nice round number well it's, it's i rounded it up gotcha i was gonna I say, say it, it is very close to seventeen hundred dollars <laughs> less than the cost of a cup of coffee between <laughs> what it is and seventeen hundred you know i've been told that in the program once before where it says for the price of less than a cup of coffee a day you can and it's like uh, Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. So, audio visuals. There's no music. There's no music. Absolutely. There's no audio. The sound effects suck. Super simplistic. There's a lot of rectangles. A lot of rectangles. For the visuals. A lot of rectangles. I don't know if you had this in yours, but for me, there was a timer and a checkerboard flag at the top. There was oh. seemed to be timing you, but that was it. <laughs> Nothing it's happened. It's a race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened afterwards. I didn't get anything other than my refund, but that was it. Yeah. And there are some pictures that appear in the game, but they're not really super spectacular. No, they're just very, very uh, vague pictures of like buildings and yeah. briefcases and stuff. Or like a coin purse. Like the personal info thing is like a mannequin with a t shirt on. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> it's- I don't get it. You know what? It would be half cool if you could uh, choose which graphic style you wanted for your right. little pictures, but they don't even give you that. I'm really like, how much, how hard would that be? Not very hard. Like, we're into it to do that. Or they, you can like customize your character, a little goatee, nice hat. You know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> a little monocle maybe. So you can be the Monopoly guy. It's really falling short on these uh, little details. Really yeah. missing the boat. For current generation of games, I think the graphics and sound should be way better that's all i'm saying yeah now for the discussion um, okay so with a discussion yeah yeah fortunately my review my unofficial review copy was free for the most part yeah um but once i submitted my forms it reduced my refund what's up with that what yeah i had to pay it was free to use the software but in order to do the submission oh, in order and stuff, to file it you had to, yeah. That's kind of shady, isn't it? It's kind of shady. That sounds like something there would be a lawsuit about. It does sound like something that there would be a lawsuit about. <laughs> I wonder where that happened, or if that happened, or if that will happen. Yeah. Yeah, talk about nickel and diamond you to death. I mean, microtransactions. I get you. So here, here's the trick, since I've got the home and business expansion. Uh-huh. That means that I can... uh deduct the cost of TurboTax as a business expense. And it actually impacts your taxes. Yeah, it does. But in a dumb way. It lowers your reportable income. It doesn't magically give you money. You're like, whoa, I got like $70 less income. Not even in-game currency? Not even in-game currency. <laughs> oh, there are some like questions about cryptocurrency. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they're right. Yeah. yeah, cryptocurrency stuff. I didn't get into there, but hey, I think uh, I think next year, the next starting at some point, they're gonna like uh, there's gonna be like Venmo uh, information that's uh, important to your taxes. Interesting. Is that government changes? It's you know they're figuring out that you know lots of people are. I don't know, laundering money or doing the side businesses and not reporting income, but sending money back and forth on Venmo a lot. So Yeah, it's too bad those rich people aren't uh, worried about that. Yeah, the rich people, no, they all use Cash App. But um, <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, that's it. No, that's it no, is. I don't. No, I think I think it's all the payment apps are. There's going to be certain thresholds that they're supposed to be reporting, and which makes sense. Which there probably should have been those guardrails in place to begin with. But I mean, you know, it's like it's like any any new technology. Like they don't know how to regulate it till it's been around a while. You yeah. Know? yeah, and they realize like, oh, wait a minute. I think some of the payment apps people use them for things that they used to use cash for right let's say 
for people that work in certain industries like uh, a service industry where you get cash tips. You don't report those. Well, I mean, some people do report them, but like... When I worked at the coffee shop, you had to. You had to? Well, I mean, I had to. I mean... <laughs> you had to. I just did it because that's what I thought you were supposed to do. You did it because, uh, oh, oh... Was that not true? Well, that's what you're supposed to do, yeah. I didn't inadvertently get anyone in trouble at my coffee shop for reporting my tips, did I? You didn't get anybody in trouble. Okay. No. Because no, the just... government wouldn't say, oh, well, this person is recording their tips, but no one else is from this Starbucks or whatever. See, that's the thing. Like, And they're not as worried about that now anymore because that so much of the transactions go on t- cards and like you're adding your tip onto your credit card transaction, so... It ends up um, getting put on people's paychecks that way, and so it gets reported. So it's not even it's not even an issue anymore. Yeah. Back back in the day when I was living off of uh, you know whatever was coming out of the pitcher at the, the cappuccinos. Yeah, cappuccinos back in the good old days. A, I didn't report that income. B, my income was not large enough. I don't know how I survived, but <laughs> you might want to keep that under your hat because because the IRS might be listening to this podcast. The IRS, if they want to dig up uh, back to 1997, yeah, and and audit you from them. <laughs> if I owe them a hundred bucks, we, you know, uh, oh geez, with interest, man, I, I mean, it'll be fine. Okay, I don't know if they looked at my tax return from that year, they would just be like, "Ooh, that's sad." There was a lot of going to the the red garter here. I don't know what well, that's all about. Red that's where I paid my taxes. Yeah. <laughs> the red car. <laughs> it was a pass-through tax. I'd pay, I would take the, the, the tip straight to the red carter and then. Yeah. 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 I purchased things there. And then through, through that business, the appropriate taxes eventually went to the government. Eventually. It trickled up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, does your version feel like a really lame choose your own adventure book? Cause mine did. Yeah. It does. Yeah. If if you want to do this, go to this page and like, uh, okay. Exactly. It always gives you uh, the option to, would you like to walk us through everything or choose what I want to work on? Yep. There's a first choice. How do you want to enter your business income? Guide me or I'll explore on my own. It is an adventure. Choose your own adventure. Is there a forms? Show me my forms mode? Because I didn't have that in mind. There used to be a show forms mode where you could look at your actual forms and like fill things out manually if you wanted to. But Oof. at the end, they they've got a print and save for your records. Right. Right. You know, like so you can print out the forms I already filled in, but I don't know. If... Maybe that was the, the Sega Genesis version that I'm thinking about. Maybe it's like, now, there is a bit where like when it does like it checks through and they'll be like, hey, this box looks dumb. How about this? Right. And you go I'm like, oh, I got it. But that's the only time you see the forms. You don't select to see the forms. Yeah. I gotcha. Here's my next question for you. You know, sports games always come out for the upcoming year or sometimes the current year, right? So why does this one come out for last year? It always comes out for last year. I I don't know. Like, and there are never any updates to the players. Not like Madden. That's no, for sure. no, definitely not like Madden. Probably more playable from what I've heard. But any, we're not going to go there. I'm not going there. I don't know. I think that's a sports ball game. Yeah. So I played the Arizona DLC. Oh yeah. I don't think it really added much to the game other than more forms. Oh yeah, yeah, more forms. Okay, so yeah, I did the. Uh, I got the or- Oregon DLC, which. There's a couple neat things. One of them is that this year we got the kicker, which I didn't know what a kicker was until I came to Oregon. But is it like a sidecar? It's it's like a sidecar. No, it the state of Oregon runs on a biennium. Okay, whatever that means. Like every it's like a two year cycle. I get I guess. Hmm. But yeah, and then they they look and uh, if if the amount of money they've collected in taxes is way more than the money they actually needed for the budget. According to some state law, they got to return it to the taxpayers. Mm. But if for some... You lost me at Oregon. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird. But yeah, so we got we got a heck of a kicker this year. 
which probably means that they're going to have to cut governmental budgets next year because it gave all the money back. I, I don't know. It's it makes it hard for the government to plan or set aside things for <laughs> the state government, right? The state government. Oregon uh doesn't have sales tax. Right. So it heavily relies on income tax. Okay. Yes. The income tax deducted from my paycheck is about the same as the federal, you know, the state and federal is about the same. So getting the kicker back I means that's like whew. Get some thousands of dollars back from the state this year. Yeah. Which is kind of neat. All right. So let me just say, sort of in closing, I don't like talking about scoring, but this is probably by far the worst game I've played so far. How about you? What do you think? Uh, it's a mixed bag. I was like, I did not score very well on the federal level. Mm. Yeah. But the Oregon one, like I was talking about, the kicker, yeah, I scored all right there, but uh, yeah. Right. But Especially with the stupid amended W two, yeah, the amended return. Ooh, yeah. But my three ups and three downs. Here's the the three ups. If you do a speed run, you can be done very quickly. That's okay. That's true. You can receive money, which makes it seem like you've accomplished something. There is DLC available for your state if you want to extend your gameplay. Then, of course, there's your option which is file your return early so you can do the amended downloadable content. <laughs> file it early and do the amend. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. Even that is up to your employer to screw up your forms. Which they're not supposed to, but they did. No, yeah. they're not supposed to. In my three downs category, the first one, although the story is it's extensive branching, there are really only two endings. Uh, either you owe or you get a refund, and neither of these guarantees a good ending. I'm looking at you, auditor. <laughs> Almost more fun to fill out the forms by themselves manually, I would say. At least with that, you feel some sort of accomplishment at the end. Yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts? Um, my my thoughts is that I've I've gotten into the realm of um, I would have too many forms to look through. Okay, so it's okay for you. It's okay. It's okay for me. It's it's worth it for me to do it, but it's not it's not compatible with my bookkeeping software. Okay, that's kind of problematic, isn't it? Which is, it's slightly problematic. You still using Microsoft Money? No. <laughs> no. I'm using this other thing that was free. It's called Wave. It's this online bookkeeping game with, you know, in-game purchases. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Is it Flash? Is it done in Flash? It's Flash? No, it's not. But here's the thing. It doesn't have a very good... Uh, a, a very good iOS app, so uh, mm. can't do it on your phone. I mean, you can do some things on your phone, just not the full game. It's it's like there's the mini game. You can do invoices on your phone, which is not it's not the whole thing. You can do invoices on your phone, but you can't do voices. It's cheap, but it is not the Intuit brand of uh, of bookkeeping software, which right. I think would mesh really easily with the TurboTax. So it, you could just, I, I think yeah. they sell it on that. That's how they get you. That's how they get you to buy the super expensive game because it flows. You can use your um, your game saves from a previous game on your current game. And it's not like you can even just like buy the game anymore. You have to subscribe to a, a season yeah, of the game. Yeah, what's that all about? Yeah, exactly. They've got seasons now. It's so stupid. How many times do I have to pay for the same game over and over again? But Yeah, put some variation in there. Next year we want zombies. Zombies in our zombies. attack software. Yes, I want zombies in my turbo tax. Yes. I mean, come on, even that would be you know, just a, a little change, right? It'll be a little change. I'm not expecting anything like Resident Evil, but you know, just think think about zombies into yeah. it. Yeah. Think about zombies. Uh finally, we've got extra data. Uh this is my last down. Extra data uh, entry is required uh, yeah. to actually submit your forms electronically unless you have a printer and stamps, but who has that other than Andrew? So that's that's what I have as my last <laughs> down. I do have those, but I still do it. You file. I still like. I don't think a lot of people do have stamps. I think they just do all their postage through through apps and stuff these days. I mean, I don't know. That could be. I'm beginning to feel like a dinosaur. Yeah, with my stamps, my stamps, and going down and. Put it right in the post, in the, in the letterbox. I put it in the letterbox. I send the letter. Snail mail. I mean, I do mail stuff by the snails because I make things out of paper and then I, I mail them around. 
and that's fun. But um, if you make things out of concrete, you can't. Well, you could. You just have to spend a lot more. That's a lot of stamps. That's a lot yeah. of stamps. Yeah. Yeah, actually, <laughs> postal service they don't look kindly on mailing rocks. Just use really light paper, and you'll be fine. When you start using the heavy paper, that's when there's a problem. That is. Yeah. One time I did some resumes and cover letters on a really thick paper, and they got returned because of postage. Yeah, that's a heartbreaker. Isn't it? Catherine's got a a, a scale that she uses for cooking, but it's good for weighing postage, too. I, or, you know, and then... Yeah, and then I'll be like, oh, it's this many ounces, and I'll need to do this many stamps. And But then the, then they get you with, the, oh, well, it's too thick for that many stamps. You need an extra stamp, and they send it back, and then then you got to put four more stamps on it because they don't let you reuse the ones on the... Yeah, that's ridiculous, too. I mean, you already paid for the stamp. Yeah. They should let you just put the extra postage on there, but whatever. It's a racket, I tell you. It's a racket, though. Postal service needs our help. Yeah. yeah. Not like the taxes do. Not like the IRS. The irony of it is the, the postal service is uh, self-supporting. They get no tax money. Self-sustaining. That's, yeah. Self, it's supposed to be self-sustaining, but it's having trouble. Thumbs up or thumbs down on your TurboTax experience? Because mine is definitely a thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah. I would say this year... Just, uh, I'll do it. Uh, it's just a barely thumbs up. Barely. Because I, I don't want to have to do all the forms. Okay. Yeah. I like being able to do it on the computer. But is that that amended return business. Ooh. Yeah. That just throws a monkey. A monkey? It throws a monkey. <laughs> yeah. It threw a monkey <laughs> it right just, at me. Well, it just throws a wrench in it. I always say it throws monkey a wrench. wrench. In the, I mean. It throws, a, it throws a spanner in the monkey. Exactly. Do you really need to specify the 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 animal when you say throws Throws a a monkey in the works yeah Yeah. i don't know if there is some sort of some sort of tool through yeah there's a lathe there's a lathe in the works that's hard to do yeah it is hard to do with a lathe (laughs) throw in the lathe maybe a what is a what are those called a dremel dremel tools (laughs) you can throw a dremel yeah yeah throw a dremel in the works yeah throw a dremel in the works i think that's lathe adjacent Enough. Yeah, it's like a it's it's a lay the Jason. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us on this very special review of TurboTax. I really appreciate you spending the time playing the game all year long. All year long playing this game all year long. Well, and we're gonna do it again next year. I don't know if we'll review it again next year, but next year, unless unless they, uh, you know, reveal some really cool updates. Yeah. What's the point? Right, exactly. Same game every year. And you always feel like you lose. Why aren't there zombies? I just need zombies. Maybe some sound effects. Maybe a boing every once boing, in a while. Yeah. When's the t- TurboTax home and business and zombies edition going to come out? Maybe they can borrow Clippy. Maybe that will make uh, more more of an impact. They can, they can pay uh, some sort of licensing fee to get Clippy into the TurboTax. Clippy. <laughs> <laughs> they probably would come up with some weird knockoff like taxi like it's an actual taxi but he's called taxi oh yeah uh, uh-huh. that's terrible oh clippy in memory of clippy one for me one for the clippy thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the two vague podcast my name is ben my name's andrew and we've been your hosts have a wonderful night bye that's right bye